So it's an ongoing online debate about if Caitlin Clark, who was just awarded a eight year, $28 million shoe deal for Nike, got the shoe deal because she's white. When there's WNBA players like Asia Wilson, who is a two time league MVP, two time defensive player of the year, a finals MVP, and a five time WNBA All Star as well as a best-selling author. Why doesn't she have a Nike shoe deal? People are like, well, it's, it's, it's racism. And I'm like, um, no, nah, I think it's just revenue. Um, it's a couple things y'all gotta keep in mind, right? Sneaker trends are set by black men. Black men decide what gym shoes are hot or what gym shoes are not hot. Black women, for the most part, don't even really wear gym shoes unless it's like Jordans or Air Force Ones or whatever shoe their man is wearing, and they're trying to have a pair of shoes that are similar. Black women, for the most part, really aren't gym shoe oriented. Black women love fashion, but not necessarily sneakers. That's more of a man thing. And so, Asia Wilson probably doesn't have a shoe because no one is supporting her brand to demand a shoe. Whereas players like Caitlin Clark just did so much for women's basketball, and there's lots of white women who look like Caitlin who will go and buy those sneakers and gym shoes that black women really don't buy. That's not their thing. So that's a factor, right? That's a huge factor. Not necessarily about race, more so as about who's supporting who. The other thing, though, you have to keep in mind is that Shikari Richardson just got a shoe deal from Nike as well. She got a five-year, $20 million deal, which is actually more than Caitlyn's $28 million deal. Caitlyn's getting $3.5 million a year. Shikari's getting $4 million a year. You know why? Because she's a star, and black women made her a star, you know? And so her stock is higher than the Asia Wilson, because you probably didn't even know who Asia Wilson was, because you don't watch the WNBA, but you know who Shikari Richardson is because black women made her a star. That's who the hell they chose to support. And so it ain't necessarily about race as it is about dollar sign. Black women don't support the WNBA. This is why the WNBA ain't doing that well. White women really don't even support the WNBA. But some of them do, but really, no one's supporting the WNBA. And they're hoping that Caitlin Clark is gonna bring some of that college support over to the WNBA because no one's watching that shit. And it ain't because it's not good basketball, it's just because men are watching men's basketball and the WNBA doesn't really fill a void in men's sporting lives. And women are not interested in basketball as a whole. They watch other things on TV. I don't make the rules, man. Give them a little context to help y'all understand.